Want to skyrocket your Shopify sales with Instagram ads? In this step-by-step -step guide, I'll show you how to create high converting Instagram ads that drive traffic and boost your revenue. So first of all, what I need to do, of course, is to set up some business accounts. Now that Instagram is working along with Facebook, we need to have access for advertising into Instagram with some meta ads. If you go into business.instagram.com, uh, fast forward slash uh, advertising we can create and start with a very first ad so i needed the course to sign in directly into instagram in order to continue we can log in with facebook if you want to really really easily processed so let's go for it, logged in, in and try to sign in in a very easy way once you have signed it in it is time to look out for create an ad so make sure your Instagram account is a business or a creator account so we can go to your Instagram settings uh, to switch to the professional account and link it to your Facebook page. This is crucial for running ads. So I'm going to close this, of course, go for more and go for the option that says settings once again. So here into Instagram settings, you can look out for professional account and make sure that we have now the professional account enabled. So in here that we have now enabled our professional account, if you wanted to add it or to change your account, for example, here into account privacy, created tools and controls, we can change it for a business account or a personal account. In my case, since I have a professional account, I don't need to do absolutely anything at all. So this is the part where we can just go back and once again, run these element that says start um, with your creating an ad. So here with this create an ad, you can choose to add a post, a reel, or a story. So in here, we can add any specific content of Instagram, but if you wanted to add one product directly into Shopify, there's two ways of doing this. The first is to download a product images, post it directly here into Instagram, and when you post your product, as a post, I can use this post to promote it. Or the other solution is to do it directly with Ad Manager. So the first solution is going to be really easy. Let's say, for example, I'm going to go back. Here I choose my current top post. I had to continue. And here I choose my account. Inside my account of Facebook, I go for continue. And this one should be sending me directly into the Instagram ads. So I choose the option, basically we are into the boost of the post. So what I need to do now is to change an ad account in order to have access to this element. So let's say for example, continue as myself and go for continue. This is a review of how it should be looking your post. So what you do want in this case, maybe you want people to visit your website. For example, shop it now. And here into the website, you must be typing the website which you like to be using for this ad. For example, in my case, it should be smartaunt.online. So when they click into this element, they should be sending them directly in here. So I copy it my, my website and I paste them here and I go for saved. So why would you like to choose who do you want to see your ad? For example, just an audience, we can create your own. What's your ad budget in? Really important, which is your ad budget. The more you spend, the more estimate daily reach you get. So let's try, for example, $21 per daily. Um, here is the duration, the duration and boost your post. Just as easy as that. Now, the other solution that I can give you, this is a little bit more advanced, but it could be giving you more features and more accessible tools. Let's close Instagram and instead let's go for Meta Ads Manager. So into Ads Manager, here's the Meta Ads Manager. We must have our Facebook, a Facebook page and an Instagram account into just one place in order to have access to this element. So let's go here for the upper side once again. I uh, choose, for example, one of my business portfolios. Let's say, for example, the Techspress videos, which in this case here it is. And here, what I need to do, of course, is to just type into the all the tools, ads manager. Into ads managers, here is the ad manager campaign section. As you can see, this is the campaigns we can just use to get started here. For example, let's go for create. Now, this is the more advanced tools. Choose a campaign objective. For example, I want people once again to, uh, I want to generate my first sales, for example. So I go for continue. 
Now, if you wanted to, you can choose an advanced uh, shopping campaign or to do some manual sales campaign. If you don't know absolutely anything of how you can get started with a streamlined setup, I can suggest you to use the advanced campaign. Continue. And this is the part where you can start customizing your, um, in this case, your ad, for example, the name, the categories, the conversion in this case would be a website. But that is set. Just leave this as it is. Here into the audience location, you can try to be a little bit more specific. Only people from the United States, only people from, 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 from London, from Russia, whatever. Reporting, here's my daily budget once again. Uh, start my date when you wanted to get started. Here's the suggested ad. And I can create one ad. So I can import one ad here if you wanted to. Here, for example, available. Uh, I'm going to close this. Let's go for next. And this is the part where you wanted to add your actual campaign. For example, the Facebook page should be, for example, this one, my Instagram account. Uh, I can connect the account into this specific Facebook page. This is the reason why I told you it's going to be really important to generate that element. So here is. Now here is the media setup. I go for manual upload, single image or a video. Um, my website URL should be exactly the same, which in this case, it should be this one. And here, let's go for uh, browse add-on, leave this as it is, language tracking, uh, creative test, and basically this is how it should be looking, your uh, new element from Shopify. Now in this case, what I need to do is to set up a creative, let's go for an image ad. If you ask me, I believe that the best solution is to get started with a video. But if you want to start with an actual image only, well, that will be up to you. But in my case, uh, speaking about experience, the best solution to get started with some sales is an actual video rather than just an image. So here's my image, the original, sized, next. This is how it should be looking into all the toast, text improvement, into Facebook, into Instagram, go for done, and you're actually good to go. So I'm gonna go here for the option that says published, and this is how you can actually get started with defining your ad campaign. It's totally up to you if you wanted to do this in a very easy way directly with Instagram Boost, a post, or to do this directly from Ads Manager. Both are really great tools, but I strongly recommend you to use the Ads Manager from uh, Facebook because this one is going to be giving you access to so much more elements and so much more data if you wanted to relocate or rebrand or relocate or to have more audience delivery here. So basically that will be actually it here into creating your own ads from Shopify directly into Instagram and even into Facebook if you want to. So thank you so much for watching the video guys. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and leave a comment below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial.